who is an interactive play and musical where the audience was participating. We were watching a movie and suddenly we got pulled into the screen, like on Freakazoid, and we just had to roll with it. It was sort of like playing a child's computer game, but you were there for real and there's lots of pretty trash on the ground. And that it was uh, some sort of utopian apocalypse in which you got to inform the situation that was unfolding as two people were calling each other on big cardboard phones, telling each other what they were just dreaming. But it was this joke where they would tell you what they were dreaming and it was insinuated that you were to perform out this dream. It was really inviting for there to be such a such a performative like such a cinematic element that everybody watched and then have it thrown back in our faces. The people definitely got engaged as you slowly as you went along as we sort of followed the dialogue and felt like we were getting to know you better and then we were urged to do things and then we started interacting as a group. So it, it went from just being two people on stage acting to a whole space of people interacting. And it was really fun. Um, yeah. And I, I've never been to a participatory event where such a high percentage of the audience got really excited and actually engaged and um, talked back and shouted and done. I don't think anyone was sitting down after <laughs> we were getting got going. I think what I remember most is first walking into the room and there being chairs. And then weren't the chairs taken away? And so it was like, that's when I go, uh-oh, <laughs> no, I'm going to be out of my comfort zone. Yeah, I do remember it getting like really personal really quickly <laughs> where, where me and a guy I hadn't met, we were both pretending to like birth, was that it right? Yeah. We were like yep. <laughs> birthing someone and so I was like looking around like who am I going to like, uh, you know, have a child with or like, birth with and end up like making eyes with this guy. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, how are we going to do this? Like, what? what's the protocol? And so I, like, I love you. We linked, like, legs and, like, sat with our backs on the ground and just, like, pretended. <laughs> One of you called up the other and said that you had a dream that I died. And I pretended to die. And then everybody piled stuff on top of me. All of the beautiful trash. <laughs> <laughs> How did that make you feel? Alive. <laughs>